Hi everyone, in this tutorial we'll see how to import demo data into your WordPress site when using the BART theme by WP Royal. As you can see, I have already installed the BART theme, which is completely free by the way. And before we start importing some data, let's see how your site will look after the importing is done. As you can see, it comes with a lot of pre made content and different elements that you can use into your project. So, to begin with, we need to go to Appearance and click on About Bard. This is the Bard theme welcome page, and on this page, let's click on the red button that says Install Demo Import Plugin. This button will redirect us onto a demo import page where we can choose which plugins we would like to install alongside with demo data. But I recommend to leave all of them enabled. Finally, let's click on Import Demo Content, and this process might take a few minutes depending on your hosting and internet speed. But please do not refresh or close this page until it's done. And when it's done, go and check out how the site looks by clicking here. We can see that everything looks good. There's only some issue with Instagram feed here and at the bottom of the page as well. But don't worry, we will fix it in a moment. Before that, if you want to customize the menu navigation of your site, go to WordPress menu editor where you will find a navigation called Main Menu. And from here, you can edit or customize it according to your needs, just like you would do it to any other WordPress menu. When using the BART theme, you have a total control over your site sidebars. And if you want to apply some changes, let's go to WordPress widgets. And here, you will find all of the sidebars and its widgets that are already created for you. Here, you can see a right sidebar, for example. Let's scroll down a little bit. This is a sidebar Alt. Let's check it out on an actual website. When you click on this hamburger icon, it slides in from the left. And of course, you can edit it the way you want. There's also some other sidebars as well, like this footer, for example. Again, let's quickly check it on an actual website. A lot of WordPress users are more used to old classic widgets editor. And if you're one of them, just click on Install Now and it will install an old classic widgets editor for you. After the installation, you just need to activate the plugin. Let's go back to widgets and you can see that it has replaced the classic editor. But of course, all the sidebars and its widgets are still here. Bart theme also lets you customize almost every part of the site by using WordPress Customizer. So let's click on the Customize and from here you can change lots and lots of things like colors, for example, general layout that comes with a lot of settings, site identity, things like logo and title, and almost every section comes with its dedicated video guides just to make using Customizer easier for you. Now it is time to fix our Instagram feeds on the sidebar and on top of the footer as well. So let's go back to the dashboard and right at the end of the navigation, click on Instagram feed. On this page, we need to click on Add New, Next, Add Source. It will take a few seconds. And now we need to log in with Instagram. But I'm already logged in, so I'll simply click on Allow to give Instagram some permissions. Choose your Instagram account. In my case, it will be InfoWP. Wait before it's connected, and that's it. Our WordPress site and Instagram are now connected. Click on Save. Go back to the site and refresh the page. And you can see that Instagram feed is displayed properly in the sidebar as well as in footer. If you want to customize the feed, bar theme also lets you do that. Just go back to the dashboard. And on the left side, there is a customizer where you will find a lot of options. For example, we can disable header and maybe load more button as well. Click on save. Refresh the page and you can see our customized Instagram feeds. If you need to embed Instagram feed in another part of your site, in Dashboard, click on Embed and copy the shortcode. Go to Widgets and finally, you can copy this shortcode into any other sidebar you want, just like it is in Right Sidebar or Instagram widget. So, this was a very quick tutorial on how to import a demo data into your site. If you go to About Bart's page, here you will find a lot of useful links like video tutorials, recommended plugins, links for contacting with our support team, 
And finally, you can also compare free and pro versions, because pro version comes with a lot of great additional features. Alright, thanks for watching, I'll see you soon in the next tutorial.